Good morning, everybody. This is Tremia, and today I'm going to talk about um, another symptom of my lupus, which is I had a positive ANA titer. Um, that test is particularly done by a uh, blood draw, and uh, you know they send off your lab and you wait the results. Um, and there is a lot of confusion on what the ANA titer is and um, what I'm going to say is my opinion what I've researched and what I've learned and I've heard so many different variations of it so it really is going to be what you and your doctor discuss and um, you know what you research because I'm saying I've, I've heard so many things but my understanding and what I agree with is um, the positive ANA titer does not necessarily mean that you have lupus um, it does mean um, that there's a possibility of lupus or another autoimmune disease but it does not mean that it's a positive test for lupus and that again that is what I've learned and what I've researched and um, you know and that's what I go by uh, the the ANA titers um, it's done like one in 40 and then it, it doubles as it goes up so one in 40 then one in 80 then one in 160 and so on and I've had um, throughout the years I've had mine as high as 1 and 1280 I think it's 1280 um, and as low as 1 and 40 and what I also know what I believe is that a 1 and 40 um, that is not a positive ANA that's just uh, anybody it's just a normal normal it doesn't it's not indicative of any sign of uh, autoimmune disease is just a normal reading so that's what I know and if they have if it comes out you know higher than the 1 in 40 titer um, your doctor uh, will probably recommend that you get more blood tests and you know and he'll uh, he or she will research um, further and test you further and you know try to see what's going on but again you know to from what I know, a positive ANA, um, it just means that you need to, you know, go further. That there's the possibility of an autoimmune disease, and not even necessarily lupus, but there's a possibility. It doesn't mean that there is one, and it doesn't mean that you automatically have the diagnosis of lupus. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom and rate rate me and you know I'd love to hear from you um, subscribe to my channel I'm getting um, a lot of views and I'm getting more and more uh, I think I have nine subscribers right now <laughs> when I get to 10 I'll jump up up and down um, so you know just keep on watching and uh, everything that you're learning or hearing from me you know it's it's my opinion and what I know or what I believe and um, anybody can set me straight on it if I'm wrong because I'm always willing to learn and um, so please you know leave your comments thanks bye bye